It's Press Pass with Jack Ebling, mid-Michigan spirited sports debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Great evening, mid-Michigan and beyond, and welcome to Press Pass on Fox 47. Who needs a pennant race when we have the Miggy 500 and a near-perfect game in downtown Detroit? We are 260 hours from most high school football openers, 19 nights from MSU Northwestern in Evanston, and less than 20 days from what could be the greatest win in Western Michigan history. We talk about great wins. James Pyatt today in the U.S. Amateur Golf Championship. Here to talk about that and more is Team 411, Jim Keaton Jr., man for all seasons at Lansing Eastern, football and baseball player at Arizona State, 2017 inductee into the Greater Lansing Area Sports Hall of Fame, and a key member of one of the biggest and best families any city has seen, Jim, even your family wasn't big enough to get enough people for a combined Eastern slash Sexton marching band. <laughs> yeah, Jack, it's disappointing. You know, we we see things change here, uh, but you know, we still we still come from very 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 good stock, and and hopefully in the future we can get things turned around. We're also joined tonight by Graham Couch. Proud Sexton product. He is a sports and more columnist for the Lansing State Journal, co-host of Couch and the Rube on the Spotlight Radio Network, and a staunch vaccination advocate. Graham, how are you? I'm doing well. And uh, yeah, no, back in the day, having an Eastern Quaker opposite Sexton, Sexton Big Red, it might have gotten chippy. But uh, these days in Lansing, uh, I think we're all we're all on the same team battling the same uh, the same battles a little bit. What kind of feedback did you get this week when you were advocating everyone should get vaccinated? It seemed like a common sense approach, but I know some people don't take it that way. They want you to stick to sports. Yeah, well, the column was technically in sports as well, though. And, and, and look, I'm not going to stick to sports, but also it was about vaccination requirements for those attending games at Spartan Stadium. And my point was mostly that MSU has already decided that it was the right thing to do, right? They want all their faculty and students to do it. So why not take it a step further? If you think this is the right thing for the people of your community, the local economy and all that, I got, you know, a fair bit both ways. Um, you know, there's some people who were not happy with it. And there were a lot of people that were grateful uh, that I wrote it. Uh, we are in a highly politicized environment, ladies and gentlemen. And when you think about that, it's a little bit like Michigan State and Michigan. We'll be right back. Talking Tigers next. 70% of homeowners who purchase a metal roof are unhappy within the first 10 years. Frank Farmer, president of American Metal Roofs. That's a strange comment coming from a guy that sells metal roofs, but unfortunately, it's true. So why so much metal roofing regret? Inexperienced contractors began lowering prices to beat us. And the only way to sell a cheaper metal roof is by cutting corners and cutting quality. Suddenly, screw-through metal roofs made for pig barns were going up on homes all over Michigan. Roofs that rust, fade, and leak like a sieve within just a few years. We see it all the time, and it's giving metal roofing a bad name. That's not what a beautiful and guaranteed American metal roof is all about. Yes, we are more expensive, because we don't cut corners or quality on anything. Discover why our satisfied customers brag about their roofing experience 20 years later. This month, we're looking for homes in this area that we can feature in our ads. Qualified homes earn deep discounts. Does your home qualify? Call 844 Metal Roofs or visit American Metal. First, there was Vegas, then Atlantic City. Now, your pocket. DraftKings has an online casino where you can play your favorite games whenever and wherever you want. Slots, blackjack, live dealer games, and more. We'll even give you $50 in free credits and a deposit bonus up to $1,500 to get started. Viva Las DraftKings. Download the app or visit us online. Try DraftKings Casino today with our exclusive offer and experience the casino floor like never before. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else. 
peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Law of the Jungle segment, brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. Stop and see Chuck, Delita, and their terrific staff for the best in Mediterranean food. That's why I'm there every week. You can tell how much Miguel Cabrera's teammates love him and want him to get that 500th homer. And you can tell what the excitement is for fans when you see him out in right center field with their gloves and everyone waiting, waiting to get that souvenir baseball. Uh, Jim Keaton, what has this quest for Homer 500 meant to the Tigers and to the city of Detroit this summer? Well, Jack, I think that any time you got something that you can rally around and, and winning a championship or, or getting to a, a, a point where you're, you know, doing something phenomenal that people in Detroit will rally around. it. And I think it's been good for baseball is bringing people to the park is bringing them for that anticipation of, Hey, is Mickey going to do it today? Is it going to happen today? But and I think it brings in some of the casual baseball fans that just they're seeing somebody who's doing something and they're talking about it at the water cooler and, and things like that. So, uh, and you know, and people in Detroit, we don't need much to get excited about. So when we, when we do get it, we'll, 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 uh, we'll support it for sure. Uh, Graham, uh, let's take a look at Miggy's climb up the MLB historical leaderboards. What does it say that he's in such rarefied air? There you see some of the great names just ahead of him. And he could become just the third player in MLB history with 3,000 hits, 500 homers, and 600 doubles. Yeah, I mean, he's one of the greats of all time of any era, certainly of this era. And, and you know, early on when he first got to Detroit, I was uh, doing some Detroit Tigers coverage for Booth newspapers at the time. And I remember Jim Leland and people were upset about the Dontrell Willis end of that trade. Yeah. And obviously Miguel Cabrera was part of that. And the things Jim Leland said, and I can't repeat all the language, <laughs> but it was basically that he would have taken, he would have traded all the guys they did and just about anybody on the roster just for Miguel Cabrera. So stop worrying about Dontrell Willis. And he's had a career that's backed that up. And, and it's cool that the numbers are getting there too. I mean, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. Didn't play in a hitter's park. He's not necessarily just a home run guy. I mean, he's a great hitter, opposite field guy. I mean, one of the just truly great hitters uh, that, that we've ever seen. And he is the greatest Tigers hitter of my lifetime. And uh, I got that from Al Kaline, among others. So I guess he would know. Uh, Jim, the Tigers did just enough this week to remain four games under 500. And for a team that was projected to be 68 and 94. What does it mean that this could be the fourth straight month with a winning record? Well, I think the first thing, Jack, is, is they got better talent. And, and better talent help, helps to win, win games. But I also think they got the right guy uh, leading the club. And yeah. Kent has done a great job just connecting with guys. He's a rapport guy. And, you know, you got some young kids. And then you got Miggy as that season and veteran that, that everybody knows his skills have diminished a little bit. However, as Graham said, he has been around here a long time doing a lot of great things and, and certainly is one of the, the premier players of his era. 
And I think that as a result of that blend, uh, there's some excitement brewing. We still got some young guys coming up. Um, and I think that, that being this good this early just bodes well for the future for, for the Tigers. It is amazing when you think that this team started the season 9-24. and 24. And everyone said, oh, same old, same old. And uh, it's been a very exciting summer. Graham, I think we talked about wanting to have relevant baseball uh, as we get into August and September, and we certainly have that now. And as we look at the American League Central standings, the Tigers actually started the day in second place by a few percentage points. Uh, not there now after the loss today. Uh, and they, they all count the same, whether you lose by one run or 11. Uh, but in their last game against Cleveland this season, they were nearly no hit and perfect gamed by six foot five, 165 pound string bean, Tristan McKenzie. The fans came for one thing and got something totally different. They did. And, and look, I, I think the, 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 the bigger story with the Tigers is the arc of this season. And, and yeah. obviously you're going to have days like today, great pitching performance, uh, they didn't have it on there, and they've had some injuries. And in the, in the, in the, you know, they had to bring up a guy for AAA to get his first start. Um, it is stunning, the club that I saw in April and early May, that this is who they are. And yes, they're in a pretty weak division right now, and so second place isn't what it is in the AL East or some of the other places. But they have certainly shown us enough that it's time to start spending. They've got a couple guys in, in Erie right now in AA that everybody's yeah. excited about. They've got young arms. It, it's time, and I think that's exciting. We'll be right back with more Law of the Jungle. We'll talk about the Lions and pro football up next. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakness, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at graphochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our DART difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. DART Bank, for what matters most. The Lions take on the Steelers August 21st. Coverage begins Saturday at 7 on Fox 47. Oh, just one. Jake from State Farm, it's the least I can do. You really did me a solid with that uh, Maya markdown on my insurance. Here's the deal, Maya. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. No, really, there are no markdowns, just great rates. Pull around back in 20 minutes. I'll hook you up with the good parts. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Drive home in a certified pre-owned vehicle today from Shaheen Chevrolet. Our certified pre-owned vehicles include 172 multi-point vehicle inspection, 12 months or 12,000 miles of bumper to bumper coverage. And most importantly, peace of mind, knowing if you don't love it, you can return it, even after you drive it home. Purchase with confidence from Shaheen Chevrolet and experience the Shaheen difference where you can shop in person or reserve your next vehicle online at shaheenchevrolet.com. And like Ralph always says, why would you go anywhere else? Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Law of the Jungle segment, brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. Stop and see Chuck, Delita, and their terrific staff for the best in Mediterranean food. That's why I'm there every week.
Not a bad delivery from Calvin Johnson to Casey Mize behind the plate and the fans. At Comerica, love Calvin Johnson as much as anyone except Miguel Cabrera today. Could have been a strike, depending on uh, who was behind home plate. Uh, Jim Keaton, your son Darren, played with Megatron in Ford Field. As we take a look at him in the press box today with Kirk Gibson and Matt Shepard, what made him a Pro Football Hall of Famer in a class of 2021, besides being such a physical freak? Jack, I think his just his overall humility. I think his uh, obviously his athleticism was off the chart. He did so many great things in Detroit, playing uh, while injured, doing things that you know we we haven't seen before. But I think it's it just comes down to he's a gentle soul, uh, truly a, a people's uh, person, um, yeah. a man of integrity, a man of faith. Um, and he, you know, the humility that he deals with things. I mean, I know he treated my son really well. My son has, has been to the house and, yeah. and broke bread with him. And he, he's just a wonderful, wonderful person. Graham, we saw with Barry Sanders, there was resentment, if not bitterness, when his career abruptly ended. And now he's back as a spokesperson for the team. Do you think we'll see that with Calvin Johnson someday? I certainly hope so. Uh, you know, I mean, he and uh, Barry Sanders are the, the sort of the two legends of, of my cognitive lifetime and for the Detroit Lions and guys who were, were uh, just, you know, transcended their positions in a lot of ways. And, uh, you know, it took a while with Barry. And, uh, you know, if it takes a while, uh, it, it shouldn't take a while with Calvin, though, because he sort of said what the gripe is. It's not that yeah. much money for all he did for that organization. I think he's handled it pretty well. He hasn't taken it out on the fans or his teammates or anything else there. He hasn't been really, you know, you know, sullen about it. I, I just hope it happens quickly. Jim, we had the exhibition or preseason opener Friday night uh, at Ford Field and uh, more people there for football than baseball, even with Miguel's hunt for 500. But when you think about the game itself, uh, Buffalo with a last chance field goal and a 16 to 15 win over the Lions. Uh, what did we learn about Detroit for 2021? Well, first of all, Jack, I think that the defense played pretty well. I, I know when they started off, I was a little concerned after that first drive and maybe the first eight, nine, 10 plays. But after that, I saw some really good things on defense. They started controlling the line of scrimmage. Uh, guys were flying around the ball, making plays on third down to get them off the field. Um, and offense, I'm not worried about because that's going to take some time to come into. But they still showed some flashes. Goff made one in particular pass uh, to the left side. I think it was to Williams where he read the coverage and, and went right there with the yeah. pass. So I'm hoping that it works. Graham, I want to take a look at a photo uh, taken this weekend before the Eagles-Steelers game and five former Michigan State players. You see Shakur Brown, Josiah Scott, Cody White, Justin Lane, and Raekwon Williams all in that game. How strange is it that MSU did not have a player drafted in April, and is it likely the Spartans can start another string of draftees next spring. Yeah, well, it hasn't happened often. I mean, it's, it's, you know, I think it's a sign of the decline of talent we've seen. I think next year you probably will see that. Maybe it's a guy like Jarrett Horse, the transfer, uh, yeah. the left tackle, somebody like that. It, 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 maybe it's one of the receivers, you know, a, a Jalen Naylor. Somebody's going to be, I think, in that in that mix next year. All right. We will be back in just a minute and our Going Green segment. We're going to talk about MSU football and much, much more here on Press Pass. Join the Yes Club and be the first to hear about great giveaways like this. Fox 47 and Binder Park Zoo are teaming up to give away family four packs for admission to the park, plus four 2021 souvenir zoo cups filled with a soft drink of your choice. Go to fox47news.com slash yes club for more information. Up, ah, greasy pizza boxes. Ugh, glass bottles not emptied. Yogurt containers with, ew. Cat 
food still in the can is bad. But oh, so good. Hey, what are you doing? Relax, Mom. We're here to help. Oh, this stuff could ruin the entire recycling load. Wow. I had no idea. Chill. We'll show you the ropes. Michigan needs to recycle better, and that change starts with you. Learn the rules of recycling at RecyclingRaccoons.org. We set the cars, you pull the parts. You Pull and Save is proud to sponsor the Fox 47 race team. Have a great 2021 season. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOakmouth.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth. You're out. There's an old saying, you can never have too many officials. The age of the average official is 52 and getting older all the time. We're constantly recruiting new people, younger people to join us. After you register with the MHSAA, look on the website to find an officials association near you. They'll put you in a position to succeed as an official. We all learned a lot from high school sports and officiating is a great way to give back to the game. There's help wanted, just whistle. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Going Green segment, brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan on West Grand River in Okemos. With 107 years in the automobile business, they'll take great care of you, as they have on all seven of my leases and purchases. For a new or used vehicle, go green, go Graf. There you see former Michigan State coach Mark D'Antonio, the winningest coach in school history, Back at practice, uh, he looks energized and reinvigorated, very happy. Guys, I saw him in Florida at a benefit for the Gregory uh, Montgomery Foundation. He had a big smile on his face, um, but he hasn't been booed lately, so that's a good thing. Uh, Graham, uh, Mark was Mel Tucker's boss when they both worked under Nick Saban at MSU and when they both earned national championship rings in 2002 under Jim Tressel, what's the biggest difference between Mark D'Antonio and Mel Tucker, and what's the greatest similarity? Well, the greatest similarity is certainly the pedigree, uh, the defensive back pedigree, the, the, I think the way they see the game should be played and, and physical and up front, and they want to uh, – I think there are a lot of similarities there. The difference to me is how they build a roster. And look, D'Antonio was the perfect man for Michigan State of his time. I think Mel Tucker is, is, is ideal for this time in a lot of ways because you do need to be uh, able to deal with a more fluid roster to, to, you know, work the transfer market. You can't just rely on a recruiting class. And, you know, you think back to D'Antonio, they didn't lose a single guy coming out of John L. Smith to him barely at all. Yeah. And that was sort of his way of building it early and being competitive early was that stability. And Mel Tucker is looking at the talent that's there and saying it's not enough. We're going to flip this quickly. So that's that's the biggest difference. Yeah, when you think about recruiting radiuses, too, uh, Mark Antonio wanted everyone within driving distance, and uh, Mel Tucker is recruiting everywhere but Guam. Uh, Jim Keaton, let's take a look at one of the many physical transformations of MSU players this season. And here you see Deshaun Mallory and uh, – the guy on the right kind of looks like you did, Jim. But uh, uh, what what are Jason Novak and his staff doing to make so many players look so much better? Well, Zach, I think uh, Graham alluded to it. Is it's it, Coach D'Antonio was the perfect guy for that season, and now we're into a new season. And in the in the um, immortal words of Julius Campbell, attitude reflect leadership. 
you know, and and these guys are are committed to being in the weight room, committed to running, committed to being in shape, and it's a reflection of of Coach Tucker. He's high energy. Uh, so the weight room coach, I, I don't know his name, but uh, you you would indicate who he is. But yeah. he's doing a great job. But it starts at the top, the leadership. Every you know, I I, I love Coach Tucker's. Uh, they asked him how he slept the night before. Um, they got to practice. He said, I slept fast. I slept yeah. fast last night. You know, so those kind of things are are permeating throughout the, the program. And, and I, I look forward to some really big things from, from the Spartans this year. I like the fact, Jim, when he addressed the media last week and he'd lost his voice. He had laryngitis and he said, yeah, I, I got to do better. I got to improve. So uh, I guess that, that even goes for coaches and uh, losing their voice. Jim, I want to take another look at the Spartans' 2021 schedule and what constitutes a successful season for this team? Well, I think a couple things. I think the biggest two things is they got to, they got obviously got to beat Michigan. And then I want to see a split between Ohio State and Penn State. So at least go one and one in those two games. And then they got to win the games that they're supposed to win and then be in competition with Miami to have a chance to win that game. You know, I still think that the Spartans are going to be good enough to, to be 9-3 and three this year. Um, I like what's going on. And, and as I said before, if they can just get good quarterback play, not great quarterback play, but good quarterback play, they're going to be 9-3 and three this year. Graham, I think Jim is going to take all of his money and head immediately to Caesar Sportsbook. <laughs> Uh, I said six and six, but nine wins, you know, I think that's Mel Tucker's family members are talking in that range. Yeah. Well, and I also don't know what sleeping fast means. So I don't know what Mel Tucker's talking. I don't know how to sleep fast. <laughs> I, I sleep at my own pace and I know, at no point do I rush my sleep, but um, you know, I, you know, I think, look, the, the Vegas number of over under is four and a half. And I think that is a number that they should be over. Yeah. I, I, if you look at the schedule, I think there are about four games. They're probably going to be, heavily favored to lose or expected to lose four yeah. games. They ought to win and four toss-ups. And if you split the toss-ups, that's a six and six year, yeah. but they can be a lot better than we think. They've got a lot of transfers, yeah. a lot of new pieces. I mean, it, it is hard to really project this team because we just, there's never been a squad like it at Michigan state. Graham, uh, the late Charles Rogers will be one of eight inductees into the MSU athletics hall of fame on September 24th. When you think about Gene Washington, Kirk Gibson, Andre Risen, Plexico Burris, and career receptions and yards king B.J. Cunningham, was Rogers the best of this incredible group? Yeah. I mean, he walked on air. He was just different. And if you talk to the guys who saw him in his brief time in the NFL, he was different. And, and I, I truly believe he was. The Litnikoff Award winner. We'll be right back talking more football up next. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with that, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. Fox Animation goes wild with Housebroken. Uh -uh. Mondays on Fox. Hey, Michigan, the king of poker is here. 
At BetMGM, poker is more than just a game. It's a lifestyle. Play now with your existing BetMGM sports or casino account. Or sign up to start getting a piece of the action. There's something for every poker player at BetMGM. Download the poker app for your Mac, PC, or mobile device. Then deal yourself in with Michigan's new favorite poker network. Discover BetMGM poker today. Hi, this is Hardy Ossel with Streamline Enterprises. For over 20 years, we've been delivering a quality service at a great price. Need a roof that is guaranteed not to leak? Want to reduce your energy bills and discuss insulation? Is it time to stay off your ladder and let us install gutter covers? Or maybe you just need a contractor you can trust. When you need us. 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 We're here for you. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for The Big Picture, brought to you by Dean Transportation. Dean is hiring caring and dependable people as school bus drivers in many Michigan markets. Be a hero in your community and safely transport children to and from school with Dean. For more information and to apply, visit deantransportation.com slash jobs. That's deantransportation.com slash jobs. There you see the Vegas postings for over and under win totals, the 14 Big Ten teams, and you knew where Ohio State would be. Some of the others are a little surprising, and a lot of them are grouped, maybe showing the competitiveness and the balance of this conference. Graham Couch, which of these over-unders do you think are too low, and which numbers might be too optimistic? Yeah, I mean, I love Michigan State over four and a half. I think that's too low. I, I don't, I don't understand it. You see the numbers, the the juice on it starting to creep up. Where you've got to put on, you know, you've got to bet 165 to win 100 now, and so I think that will finish around five wins. Uh, but I still don't think that's a bad play. But four and a half is fantastic. And the thing you have to remember is number of home games schedule. I, I actually think if I was, I, I would stay away from Michigan, but I would take the over if I were to go one way or another. And there are some that you think are going to be. You know, like Nebraska, six wins seems reasonable. But you look at how difficult their schedule is, I don't know that they get there. And yeah. I would probably go under on them. Um, you know, Ohio 11 is tough, right? You lose more than one. But as long as it's not 11 and a half, if you get Ohio State at 11, you can have the one loss. I like Ohio State, too. I think that's a, that's a, that's a good play. Uh, we'll see what was – you know. Um, I also think, you know, Illinois is going to be better than they've been. And, and three and a half is a pretty low number. I think they might get to four or five. Graham, who is the first Big Ten coach to get a win over Ryan Day? <laughs> you know, it might be somebody we don't expect because there's the game until last year. There's usually the game where Ohio State has the letdown, right? Yeah. It's been Iowa. It's been Purdue. Uh, it, it can be a night game on a you know in, in a tough campus environment somewhere. And, and so I really, I really don't know. I would be stunned if it's Michigan. I'll say that because they will be ready for that. They're not going to be. I think it could be just about anybody but Michigan. And Penn State's become a bit of a rival. I think Penn State could have a good season. That game will be interesting to watch. Jim, do you agree with Graham about the over and unders? And uh, you want to make a bet? Where are you looking besides Michigan State? Yeah, I, I I think I like I like Graham's approach with Illinois. I think they'll be better than they are. But there's one that I really like, uh, and that's Rutgers. I think Rutgers at four wins with Shiano his second year. You yeah. know, I think that things are are, are changing in Piscataway. Um, I also think that Northwestern at six and a half is, you know, I think I'd take that. I, I think they'll be, you know, seven or eight wins this year. I, I think they just they're starting to build a uh, some some consistency and they're in their big guys and, and their skilled players are, are doing some things and they're playing good defense. So um I agree with some the 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 Ohio State thing. I'm 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 gonna be a, a, a descender on that one. I think Ohio okay. State finishes nine and two. Wow. Okay. Well, they, they got twelve games, but if they only win nine, or, then you know that's that's not what their standards yeah. are, and it would be the first loss of the Ryan Day era. Uh, Graham. Uh, Ohio State Buckeye turned Chicago Bear quarterback Justin Fields wasn't the only signal caller to leave after last season. As we look at the likely starters at that position in the conference, who are your top three? Well, Michael Penix Jr. Uh, is certainly 
Um, I, you know, I, I, I do think, and, and this is just, I mean, I do think Cade McNamara is going to be good at Michigan. Um, the third guy, you know, I'm not a huge Adrian Martinez guy in Nebraska. I'm curious to see Ryan Helinski at Northwestern. Um, but there's a lot of guys who are, are, could be good, but are sort of in interesting spots. And that includes at Michigan state with a guy like Peyton Thorne or Anthony Russo and, 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 and how they develop. I think there are a lot of guys with something to prove, and, but with a little bit of talent, so they could have a good year. And there are a lot of jobs there that are up for grabs. Yeah. Talk about Cade McNamara. A lot of people think that uh, he's not going to be the quarterback by the middle of the season. Ohio State has great competition. Certainly Michigan State. Uh, I don't know anyone who's willing to bet the mortgage on whether it's going to be Anthony Russo or Peyton Thorne. And I'm not sure Mel Tucker knows the answer to that question either. Uh, Jim Keaton, we have seen more conference play in season openers recently than we ever used to. As we look at this year's week one lineup, uh, which game is of greatest interest to you? And can you give us an early upset? I I like the uh, Iowa-Indiana game. I, I'm a big fan of Michael Pettix Jr., um, I I like him. I, I like that. I think Indiana is going to be a really good team this year. And and I'm also thinking that um, I can't do it. I don't, I don't see an upset. Not not in the first <laughs> week. <laughs> You're not going to go along and say that this is uh, Western Michigan year to get Michigan. You're not going to do that either, right, Graham? I, no, I, I've seen that I game can't too do many it. times. I, I want I to. Michigan <laughs> I do think Michigan State could win, though. I do think they could beat Northwestern, and that would be an upset. We'll be right back talking conference oh. realignments and more. Hey, uh, I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Yeah, right. Pepperoni pockets, an atomic brownie, cuckoo crusty. There's no promo. It's just great rates. And a cider ranch. You're the man, man. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. An idea shared, inspired, designed, created, and enjoyed. American Home Kitchen and Bath in Okemos invites you to let us help you create your dream. Dr. Leonard Hofstetter. Cool. Redefined. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Take It to the Bank segment. Brought to you by Dart Bank, dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years, with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. 
There you see a summary of uh, one of the big stories of the week, and that is a proposed alliance between the Big Ten, the Pac-12, and the Atlantic Coast Conference, coming right after the expansion of the SEC to 16 teams. And this would be scheduling and much more. You have 27 schools here that are members of the prestigious AAU of uh, academic research university. So it seems like these three conferences are a pretty good fit. Uh, Jim Keaton, as a two-sport athlete in what is now the Pac-12, uh, the top three leagues in combined academic and athletic success, banding together, uh, is the Big Ten a winner or a loser in this proposed deal? Well, Jack, I think that ultimately it's about the money, right? I mean, and you got three conferences that got big players in each one of those in each sport. Um, when you combine those three conferences, I think that um, it's inevitable uh, should the SEC's um, merger go to go through. Um, the, the biggest question I have is how are they going to schedule and break into different, uh, is it, you know, a, uh, Big Ten A or, you know, Super Team B and, how, you know, how are you going to put a schedule together with those those three uh, conferences? That's that to me, that's the biggest challenge. But money will drive it. And, and I'm sure it'll happen. Jim, we just uh, saw a look there at the Big Ten games against uh, Pac-12 this year and against uh, ACC teams. What jumps out to you? Um, Michigan State, Miami. I, I'm I'm really looking forward to to seeing that game. I I think that Michigan State is going to be, if they can be healthy again and stay with uh, uh, some good quarterback play. Uh, I also think that Northwestern uh, going to Duke. I, I I think that Northwestern will handle the business at Duke. Um, the Virginia game. I don't think Virginia is quite there yet. Um, I know that Brock Mendehall is there and. You know, he's changed things around, but I'm I'm, I'm still going to stick with the Big Ten with, with those three games. Graham, what do you think about this proposed uh, alliance, and how does it affect the Big Ten? It seems like uh, it has the most money involved here and uh, maybe some of the most high-profile schools. Certainly, if you talk about both sports together, is this a good move for the Big Ten? Well, I think it's a necessary one, and, and, and certainly I, I always like things that encourage more non-conference scheduling, and that's what I think this would ultimately be, uh, deals where you're seeing almost like an ACC Big Ten challenge, but with the Pac-12 and ACC and, and, and football and things, and, and, and sort of where they have common uh, areas of, of, of need and, and interest, they work together a little bit, and a lot of that's going to be the television contracts. What, yeah. With Oklahoma and Texas going to the SEC, the big nervous thing is when that – when the, the negotiations for the playoff come up, yeah. the ESPN is going to be the only real player. And I think if, if these other uh, conferences are sort of together, they can really create a bidding war and they can make it more than just the SEC and ESPN. And, and I think that's what a lot of this is about. It's about money, which is the same reason Texas and Oklahoma are leaving the Big 12, even though they had a better path to the playoff before they joined the SEC. And we heard rumors that what the SEC really wanted was then to lure – Ohio State and Michigan from the Big Ten. Uh, don't see that ever happening, but that would have been their dream to have uh, a conference. And then if they could have added Clemson and Florida State, they might have had a 20-team league that could have really put the hurt on all the other conferences. And it would have been dumb. It would have ruined college football. And that just it doesn't make sense. I mean, I understand in the moment, but, you know, Big Ten hockey almost did this, where they were the bully and they added Penn State and they created, a you know, they wanted to be a conference and all of a sudden things got screwed up and there were a lot of programs in peril. If you took, if you took Ohio, nobody's going to leave the Big Ten, first of all. It's just never going to happen, Not certainly not in Ohio State or Michigan. But if you took those programs, you took Clemson, you created one uh, one conference, one Super League, you, you would be on the verge of ruining the sport. And what people have to remember is the majority of the fan bases are elsewhere. And this is a, uh, this is a sport where the, where the interest is driven by love for alma mater and all those other fan bases. It's not a national perspective that does it. Graham, last year at this time, uh, some people were wondering what Joe Milton would wear to New York City 
for his Heisman acceptance, but he's wearing something very different now. He's wearing Tennessee orange and white. Uh, question for you is, who will throw for more yards this season? Returning Michigan quarterback Cade McNamara, new Wolverines phenom J.J. McCarthy, or an ordinary Joe down in Knoxville? I think it's Cade McNamara. I think he's going to be a good quarterback. I don't know ultimately who wins that battle, but Tennessee is a mess. And I certainly lost faith in Joe Milton as a quarterback last year. Maybe he'll regain that, but I'm not going to, not going to bet on him. Yeah. Uh, Jim, I'm not sure that McNamara is going to hold off McCarthy and uh, Tennessee's going to have to throw the ball a bunch to stay competitive. We'll be right back tracking a trophy next. Boy, have we hit a nerve by exposing the pig barn roofing scam. Tempers are flaring, so I want to clear up a couple of things. Frank Farmer, president of American Metal Roofs. First of all, what I'm talking about has nothing to do with metal roofs on barns. American farmers have been using metal roofing on barns for generations, and rightly so. What I'm talking about is the use of roofing products designed for barns being installed on houses. Barns and houses are two vastly different applications. Homeowners are being sold on the idea that less expensive, Thinner barn roofing panels are approved for use on homes. Contractors use these less expensive materials to undercut the cost of quality American metal roofs, but they don't explain the critical product differences to the homeowner. Barn roofs on barns, absolutely. Barn roofs on houses, a disaster waiting to happen. Before you buy a cheaper metal roof, visit AmericanMetalRoofs.com slash quality. Watch my video and get the facts. Educate yourself before you buy. Visit AmericanMetalRoofs.com slash quality. Welcome to Fantasy Island. All new Tuesdays on Fox. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our Peace of Mind program, only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. Call it a sense of purpose, a higher calling. At Dean Transportation, we call it our passion. It's simply who we are. 60 years of pioneering the best health and safety standards because safe student transportation is essential. We are hardworking folks, connecting children to learning, schools to our communities, and you to a better career. Want to make mid-Michigan a better place? We'll put you in the driver's seat. Join the Dean family today and help to connect our kids to brighter futures. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Tracking a Trophy segment, brought to you by the Ticket Machine at the corner of Mount Hope and Hagedorn. For the best in sports and entertainment ticketing, whenever those events resume, visit Brian and his terrific staff at theticketmachine.com. You couldn't see where that ball landed, and uh, James Pyatt couldn't either, but he heard the response, and he heard another response 17 holes later after becoming the state of Michigan's first U.S. Amateur Golf Championship in 121 years of competition. That had never happened, but talk about a marathon set of accomplishments uh, what James Pyatt did, Jim, they talk about winning a major, one of golf's majors, and having to focus for four days and play 72 holes. All James Pyatt did this week was play two rounds of stroke play qualifier on Monday and Tuesday, and then beat six opponents, including a 36-hole match, actually only took 35, uh, to win it all today out of the 64 teams, 
So he played nine rounds of golf in seven days at the highest level. And now he will come back to Michigan State for his senior year with an amazing championship. Uh, how does someone focus like that at such a young age, Jim? Jack, I think, you know, when certainly he found himself in a groove and finding yourself in a groove, sometimes nothing from the outside affects you. You're just, you're totally focused. You're totally uh, dialed in. And clearly he was grinding, but yeah. then he got into a situation where he's like, he's grinding, but then he's in a groove. So when you have grind and groove in the same uh, golf tournament. I mean, it was a beautiful thing to watch all week and watch him just continue to to go at it and go at it, go at it. Uh, just so proud of him, you know, for uh, all Spartan dog golfers, just uh, it, it's a great win. Look forward to him coming back and, and, and obviously having something that at one of the football games to let us know that, you know, his accomplishment this year, but just a great, great performance. Uh, Graham, I think now with name, image, and likeness, you should be able to get a lesson from <laughs> James Pyatt. Uh, I know I'm already on that list. But when you think about comebacks in the history of golf, uh, a lot of people only play nine holes in a day. He was playing his fourth nine of the day this afternoon, and he's three shots behind, and all he does is win five of the next eight holes what does that say about his perseverance? Yeah, I mean, it, it says that there is, you know, that sort of clutch gene that people have when the pressure's on. And, and you, know, you know, when they, you know, some people are great in that setting. When they've got to do it then and they're behind, some people are better as front runners. And, and I don't know which he is, but to be able to close when everything's on the line like that is, is incredible. And this is a guy who a year ago was in his parents' basement in Canton, you know, without, you know, during the height of the pandemic. Yeah. Just taking swings, and he's had an unbelievable year since then, and uh, yeah, real happy for him. Jim Keaton, I want to take a look at some of the greatest names in golf history. And when you have uh, the oldest event in this country, you would think you would see some great names. But Bobby Jones, he only won this five times. Arnold Palmer winning it in Detroit. Jack Nicklaus winning it twice. Phil Mickelson. Tiger Woods, three straight years, and Bryson DeChambeau. Uh, this is quite the club for Pyatt to join, and it was by invitation only. Yeah, Jack, I, you know, just kudos to just the way he performed. It's it's just a wonderful uh, story. As Graham said, he's in the basement at Mom's. Yeah. Just, just a wonderful story. We'll be right back with our weekly awards, Cool and Smooth, up next. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. When you take a look inside Dart Bank, you'll find a banking experience like no other. You'll find that each of our banking offices are made of local people making local decisions. Even through these challenging times, our teams and lobbies stayed open, ready to help you through all your banking and mortgage needs when you needed us most. So if you're looking to upgrade where you bank, we invite you to come see our Dart difference. After all, we've been doing this for over 94 years. Dart Bank, for what matters most. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you a free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafokemos.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program, only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Get more local news. Watch Fox 47 Morning News weekdays from 6 to 9 a.m. The Holt and Diamonddale Insurance Agency works with all of its clients, like the Howard Hanna Real Estate Executives, to protect your risks. Auto Owners Insurance provides flexible coverage for personal, professional, and farm insurance needs. Call your hometown team today. Hi, I'm Hardy with Streamline Enterprises. 
Because we've been in business for 19 years, 50% of our work comes from repeat customers or referrals, like this job we're doing here today in East Lansing. No compromises with Streamline Enterprises. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for a cool and smooth segment brought to you by four great Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Oakham is north and south, North Lansing and West Lansing. Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. Swing through any Culver's drive through and grab your fresh favorites. That's Culver's Welcome to Delicious. Anderson hits it in the end of right. Back at the wall and the White Sox win it. It was a surreal ending to the first Major League Baseball Field of Dreams game. There you see a sad Aaron Judge walking in from right field after he'd hit two home runs. And the Yankees had rallied in the top of the ninth. But Tim Anderson had the last at bat and hit that ball deep into the cornfield. And if you have never been to the Field of Dreams in Dyersville, Iowa, for every baseball fan, it's something you ought to do. Put it on your bucket list. All right, gentlemen, Team 411, who has been as cool and smooth as a Culver's mid-explosion this week? Jimmy Keaton, what do you have for our play of the week? Well, my play of the week, Jack, is lots to choose from. Obviously, the great uh, uh, play and home run for the White Sox. But I'm I'm taking it back to, to Little League, uh, to Carson Frazier. He is the nephew of Todd Frazier from Tom's River, uh, New Jersey. Uh, in the sixth inning, they were coming back, and uh, he had a three-run double in the sixth inning, uh, which helped them to go on and then win the game 6-3, uh, to three, and it's got them heading back to the Little League World Series again. Well, you can tell, Graham, that Jim Keaton works with kids. You know, he's always thinking about kids, kids, kids. And so he goes Little League on us. But I have to tell you that that Field of Dreams game had the highest ratings for any Major League Baseball regular season game in 16 years. Graham, what do you have for us for our team of the week? As somebody who helped coach a six-year-old and six, uh, six-year-old soccer team and was able to win the last two games by, man by manipulating the lineup. Look, I'm all for working with kids and helping them win. Um, no, but my, my team of the week is, is Brentford uh, and the Premier English Premier League. This was the first weekend of Premier League soccer coming back, a, a ritual of fall that is getting bigger and bigger in this country. And Brentford had been out of the Premier League and, and relegated uh, in, in lower divisions for 74 years, comes back, home game, big crowd, that community. Uh, beats Arsenal, uh, you know, a, a team that's always in the Premier League. The sort of thing we don't get to see in this country, that relegation and yeah. promotion. And to see a community uh, and their club have a win in a moment like that was was really a, sort of an emotional thing to watch. It was, it was pretty yeah. cool. Iowa would have been relegated out of the Big Ten with those 21 straight losing seasons before, before Hayden Fry if they'd had that. All right, gentlemen, for our player of the week, I have to give another shout out to James Pyatt. And we just got a photo of him with the U.S. Amateur Trophy and a tremendous satisfaction. But what about Tyler Gilbert of the Arizona Diamondbacks? And uh, talk about somebody debuting in style just the fourth player in Major League Baseball history to do that. First time on the mound and throws a no-hitter. But the best part about this, guys, is one year ago, Tyler Gilbert was an electrician in Northern California. So talk about working your way up through the system. It was the electrical system. I want to thank Jim Keaton, Jr. and Graham Couch. Have a great week, everyone.